beautifuls and beloveds. This is Noelle Rose Anderson hyphen Kale, the dance warrior, raw, real, and uncensored, coming to you live from none other than the Grand Canyon. Look at this. But get that real quick. The hell is that crap? See what I mean? Yep. And there's supposed to be no flights allowed here. Yeah, and look at all, can you see all this white stuff in there? Yep. Now keep in mind, I've seen clear pictures of the Grand Canyon. You we can have them. Because there's like a red and amber and there's multiple colors. <clears throat> this stuff is diluting it. This looks bad. Anyway, so beautifuls and beloveds, uh, hope this is uh, finding you well. We come to you live today, like I said, from the Grand Canyon, and uh, there's a lot going on in our world, so I hope you are all right. You and yours are okay. Oh, it's shady here. It's very bright and glary, and whatever is being sprayed into the sky, it dries out your skin. But the zinc oxide from, uh, what do you call it, uh, sunscreen, kind of protects your skin a little bit from it. So you know, lather up. It'll uh, protect you from the sun's rays and it'll also protect you from whatever, a little bit, from whatever is being sprayed. Let's see. Very smooth skin. But it's not always this way. This is terrible. Look at this. Beautiful. One of the wonders of the world, I think, isn't it? So, that's one big hole and it goes way down. So remember how I used to not like heights, right? So I got over that. Thank goodness. So let's go over here a little bit, or actually, yeah, let's go over here a little bit. So we can give our viewers a really nice, look, oh, look how pretty that is. You see that little? Little inlet over there? That little top right there. Pretty, yes. So we are traveling the world documenting all of what is happening. We don't think it's good. Look how beautiful this should look right now. You can kind of see it, but it's, it's like a fog. So who's going to tell me it's uh, construction? construction dust. We heard that a lot in Vegas. Or how about this? How about the marine layers? In Arizona? It ain't happening here. Um, yeah, so we've heard so many excuses. I'm sure they'll come up with some lame ass backpedal for this too. But it'll be a lame ass backpedal. So what I need you guys to do is to be smart and to uh, Ask questions like we are. Oh, that's a nice spot to take a picture. We'll have to do that when everyone clears out. So beautifuls and beloveds. Uh, why don't you stay there and I'll back up a little bit. Oh, look, there's some strange waspy thing. See that? Kinda. Right there, yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can zoom in on it. Oh uh, yeah, it's right above you. Well, let's find a different spot, yeah? You don't need to be bothered by that. No, I don't. <laughs> My hair is neon red, so it's like, mmm, Every, flower. Everything flies towards <clears throat> it. Exactly. I like the butterflies, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Let's find another spot here. Let's go back to our spot. <clears throat> the air, mm, mm it's really bad here. Why are they spraying here? Dispensing, excuse me. They freak out when you say spray. I say, what do you mean by spray? I mean by that white crap you're putting in the sky. Very toxic, people. They, I'm, I'm detoxing already. I don't normally have that bulging veins like that. Can you see that? Can't tell, too bright for me on this end. My eyes are blinded by the sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> There we are, I can see it. And then the skin starts getting crepey because you can feel it. It feels like a film, like dust. Anyway, so beautiful though. 
can you kind of imagine what it would look like without all this shit in the air? You get the horizon? Yep. So, beloveds, we have been to Arizona now. We have been to Nevada, Las Vegas. We have all of these shots video recorded. We have been up and down various coasts and uh, California, all up and down that coast. And that would be the Pacific. We have been to many different cities. We've been to Barstow and Baker, and it's this way so far all over the Southwest. And we caught it as it was happening, all the spraying stuff. And what happens is it just spreads out. You can kind of see those lines over there. That is not a cloud, beloveds. It was a very sharp line, right? Mm-hmm. Now it's starting to spread. And it's very heavy. Whatever it is, is very heavy. And there's no way I would go anywhere near the bottom of this canyon because it's all just kind of dropping. So, there's a faint hint smell of uh, some kind of pesticides or something. And apparently the tips of our tongues when we're in California, not so much here though, huh? Not as much. I feel they it go my, numb. I feel it in my uh, fingertips. Numb? Yeah. Hmm, I don't have that yet. Um, not so much in the way of swelling, but it, it does a number on your endocrine glands and uh, your brain, all your organs. So you gotta keep drinking a lot of water. Uh, we wear, let me show you. I'm not wearing my mask now so you can actually see me and hear me talk better. But uh, we've been wearing these since last summer. At, there was no COVID. We were doing it because of this. We would go outside and we we're like, oh my gosh, we're nauseous, this and that. But we were also, the last uh, three, four months, we've been getting this in our apartment. And then when we went outside, the outside air was better, although it was uh, better bad, you know what I'm saying? And then when we got into clean environments, it was like, okay, this is fine. So it wasn't from a virus or a flu or anything like that. This is toxic chemicals, and uh, we don't have fevers, and yeah. We've seen and have on video several people with broken ankles, bones, wrists, hands, fingers, and I'm like, this is very strange. So I did some research, and some of the chemicals that can be found in pesticides, and insecticides, are also ingredients that can actually weaken your bones. So you can be disintegrating from the inside and not even realize it. So do a lot of milk, a lot of vitamin D. You can get that from the sun. Although, wear sunscreen. Yes, please wear sunscreen because whatever is in the sky is like glass particles and it uh, magnifies the strength. So there's something flying. I don't know what the hell it is. There's a horse <laughs> look fly. Look at the squirrel. Oh, look. Looks a little scrawny. The ones by us are all fat. Yeah, that one's feral. The ones by us, they're like fed like pets. Yeah. So, um, it's very interesting. So, we're making a, a videography documentary, kind of like a docudrama, because there's like live action and us at our best and not our best, just trying to figure out a safe place to go. Because sometimes it gets so bad we can't handle the symptoms and then they dissipate once we get into a safe environment which is interesting but yeah do vitamin d3 get it from the sun but wear sunscreen um milk and vitamin c rose hips too and yes you can eat some roses but check and make sure that they're the edible kind you don't want to eat poisonous ones so check and um yeah, and you know, a lot of it. Water soluble. Vitamin D is not water soluble. It goes right to your bones, your muscles, and your fatty tissues. So be careful. Don't OD on that. But uh, get get early morning sun or late sun, and that seems to help. Uh, the sun on your back is best because you have all of these wonderful 
points on your body that look at they're doing a grid now. Yes. Oh, you're right. We turn our backs for two seconds and then you're doing more spraying. Got um, it. So you want to have the sun in your back because it activates all of this and it bolsters your immune system because you want to have a robust immune system. You know, it's so funny. My mother-in-law was praying for me. This was years ago when I was going through cancer and all that. She was praying for me to have a robust immune system. And then all of a sudden, the news, the media started using that word robust. And I'm like, you don't think that they can hear us here too. You know, something to think about. But um, this is an amazing view. But what I don't like again is all of this stuff that's being dispersed into the sky. This is uncalled for. All right. So beautifuls and beloveds, uh, thank you for joining me again. And uh, stay healthy. And if you, we have some swelling, just, you know, I call them botas. It's not the real word. I didn't know what to call them. It's actually a word in Spanish. I don't know what that means. Um, you know, a little here, a little here, a little here. Exercise, use, uh, there's so many teas. Senna leaves are pretty good. Uh, don't OD on that. It can make you nauseous. Uh, make sure your organs are flushed out very well. Cranberry is really good for that. And, you know, check out in the sky. If it looks like this, try not to go out. And here we are out in the middle of it but I'm adventurous so uh don't get too close on this shot can you get the background yeah how close are you uh I can see you up to about here and oh, here this is a very wide lens then isn't it uh, yeah very cool apparently um so beautifuls and beloveds no better place to uh greet you and to wish you well just be careful I, I don't think this is the end of the world by any means, but I do think that some people may have very bad intentions. So with that in mind, like I said, just uh, bolster your immune system, eat well, and uh, you should be okay. And we're going to get out of this air because it's just a little overwhelming. Yeah, I can feel it. It's starting to just build up. Okay, so uh, beautifuls and beloveds, wear your mask when you when you feel like you need to and um, you know talk to people about what we're showing you please help us spread the word although most of you are seeing this yourselves anyway without me saying anything good um, but yeah this is not a good thing <laughs> they're not supposed to be flying anything here we just saw a notice just put that as an insert for the video and there's all these planes. Who, who owns these planes? Oh, look, there's more here. What is that? That's interesting. That's a different shaped vessel. You getting that? Trying to. I think I got it. I can see it in the screen. Yeah, its tail is dissipating. So what they do uh, to cover for it, they, let's go over here in the shade, it's getting too hot. So what they do to cover for it, um, there's some shade right here, beloved. Let's go over here. You can shoot it this way if you'd like and you can get that beautiful. But you know what? Maybe you get that crap in the background. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Beautifuls, what they try to do sometimes is they will do a back pedal. So at the same time, they're actually dispensing whatever it is that we can see in the air. And it, oh my gosh, it's burning my eyes. Um, they also fly regular planes and say, oh no, 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 contrails, you know, as the guys, you know, the redirect. So that one was probably a redirect, but everything else. You know, trying to legitimize it so they're not lying, but they are. So the questions need to be asked, are there any other planes doing anything else at the same time? People get smarter than them. They're not that smart. This is easily defeated. So be careful. Um, 
let's shift it this way one more time so our viewers can get a beautiful shot of that. Uh, enjoy your life. Don't be afraid. And uh, just pace yourselves. They say about 20 minutes of sun a day. So, you know, go and figure you don't want to go outside more than 20 minutes unless you want to. Go ahead. But I, I don't like what it what it's doing to our bodies and other people's bodies. It's very, very concerning. Oh, look, they're making a crisscross grid. What is with the grid? What, they make X's and stuff? Supposedly it fills out the area better. Huh. All right. <clears throat> There's one back there. Again? Yeah. <laughs> right, right here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yet another one. What about that, huh? Indeed. Yeah. So, you know, just be careful. And if you're getting swollen, you know, Epsom salts work really good. Do a liver cleanse, do a kidney cleanse while you're at it, you know, and it'll get all the crap out of your body really, really quickly. Uh, being indoors is actually a better option right now. So the people need to ask this question, is it a virus as in biological or is it a chemical thing or is it both? What exactly is going on? And I don't profess to know absolutely, but I do know what I see and I do know what's going on and I do know what our uh, bodily specimens have uh, turned up. So, yeah. Look at our bamboo plant one. Mm -mm. All right, beautifuls and beloveds, let me, let me sign out properly. So this was Noel Rose Anderson hyphen kale. And I came to you live from <clears throat> Grand Canyon. Much love to you. Ask questions. Take no crap. Oh, before I go, let me do a little dance thing here. Um, let me sit here. This looks good. Make sure during this time you treat your feet well. And I do a soak or a massage every single day. So look. That point's looking pretty fine. Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, it's gotten a little better. So just do a few of these. Can you see how I'm flexing? Yeah. You know, wing it just a little bit. Wing out. So you want to lift your heel a little bit. Don't break your bones, especially right now. Be careful. And then bring your foot back. So you want to stretch this. Your Achilles tendon, right? and then separate your toes like this, like spacers for my uh, point, ballet point followers, right? This is really good. And then I just do something like this with a rotation and then this way and it's really good. Use tea tree oil, use lavender and use eucalyptus provided you're not allergic to it and use uh, a base oil, avocado, almond, olive oil, whichever you like, the palm of your hand. So you want a ratio of, let's say, what, about a half a dollar size of olive oil or carrier oil in the palm of your hand and two or three drops of eucalyptus, lavender. Um, oh, peppermint's really good. Keeps some of the bugs from biting at your feet, uh, especially spiders. Um, eucalyptus, lavender, tea tree oil, peppermint, whatever you want, but those are the best. Tea tree oil helps uh, uh, extract and um, eucalyptus purifies it. So pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's, what was that? Birds. <laughs> A bird. Um, so yeah, take good care of yourself. So a little dance tip there. I haven't been doing a lot of dance tips, so bye all.